the family of the late Hong Kong billionaire Henry Folk have reached a settlement over his estate, ending a decade-long feud over assets worth an estimated $1.45 billion. All 13 of Folk's children, from a total of three marriages, agreed to a set of confidential terms that would resolve their latest and final dispute over a property development project in mainland China. When Fo passed away in 2006 at the age of 83, he was the world's 181st wealthiest person, and Hong Kong's 7th wealthiest, with an estimated net worth of $3.7 billion. He was estimated to have invested $772 million in mainland China, primarily in the Pearl River Delta, South China's industrial hub in Guangdong Province. The Folk family struck a deal to end all legal action over the late patriarch's estate in 2012, which, according to court documents, is worth 11 Hong Kong dollars. 3 billion, about 1 dollar. 45 billion. But litigations were reignited in 2016 following a dispute over a development project in mainland China owned by the family's flagship company, Henry Folk Estates. Described as Folk's dream project to give back to his ancestral roots, the development project began in 1933 with the aim of converting Nansha, a city in China's southern province of Guangzhou, into a thriving tech hub. The development is now estimated to be worth $1.09 billion, featuring a science and technology institute built in 1977 with the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. The latest dispute concerning the five children from Folk's first marriage involves a single share of the project, which was transferred in 1997 from a subsidiary of Henry Folk Estates to the Folk Ying Tung Foundation for the price of one Hong Kong dollar. A buyback that expired in 2007 would have enabled the subsidiary, reportedly owned in equal parts by the five siblings, to pay one Hong Kong dollar to regain the share. Instead. The interest remained with the charitable foundation, which eldest son Ying Folk leads as chief executive. Three children from Folk's first marriage, Benjamin, Nora and Patricia, accuse their brother Ian of concealing the buyback agreement, and their eldest brother Timothy of knowing about the option. Ian denied they breached his fiduciary duties. The judge dismissed a separate claim by the second and third families who sued Nora for initiating the claim in 2016 and thereby delaying payouts from the estate. Henry Folk was one of Hong Kong and mainland China's most prominent tycoons who shaped the nation in an era of political upheaval. Born in 1903 in Hong Kong, Folk was forced to quit school when Japan occupied the city at the start of the Second Sino-Japanese War, which began in the 1930s but later entered the field of shipping. In 